Hello everyone, this is Fawad. <coughs> Welcome to Future on Cloud. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can do the bulk deployment of virtual machine in your virtualized infrastructure to Ansible and YAML. Let's get started. As you can see, I have two physical servers. One Active Directory and one vCenter server. In order to do the bulk deployment, I have created one VM template. I am following my best practice. These are the things which you need to take care when you are creating a template. Like CP should be hot pluggable, memory should be hot pluggable. In provision, you have to select and VMnet. Your environment is supported 10G, just make sure you change your network adapter on i1000 to VMX. After installation of the Windows, you need to update your Windows, enable remote desktop, save a firewall if required, turn off internet explorer securities, change time zone, install the card software, and stop or disable unnecessary services. And there are some more settings. Like to synchronize the time with the host, you need to run this command with the virtual machine. Power options and some required services which required to start in order to join, join the domain to the power So I have created this template which I am going to use for the deployment. In these, these two physical servers, I have one data store in each 5.3 terabyte name is h1 ds1 in host 1 and on host 2 h2 ds1 h2 mean host 2 data store 1 host 1 data store 1 as you can see in the data store as well in the network i am using standard edition of sxi it is a customer requirement so I have just create one port group called server and this server, this port group is configured with VLAN 23. So this is, it is configured with VLAN 23. Let me show you. ID 23 now on virtual machine through Ansible to do the deployment I have <coughs> configure my Ubuntu VM I have created the playlist. The playlist name is Future on Cloud. And it is written in Visual Studio using XAML code. So this is the playlist which I am going to execute now. Let me explain you today. <coughs> this is just a reference name, what you are going to deploy. As I mentioned, create VM for test PA server on that is the naming convention you can use your own naming convention and this is the vcenter server ip these are the credentials for vcenter server and this is the data center name the cldc let me correlate it okay so this is my data center name and the folder name is SCADA, which I have created here. And then the name of the virtual machine, which you wanted to deploy. This is just for reference, and but this is the actual name, which will be configured or nominated here. You can see this is a pretty easy center. So once we execute the script, this name will reflect here. Then after the deployment, power on. 
A template is VM temp, which I'm going to use for this virtual machine for the deployment of VM. This is a case sensitive. You have to make sure make sure you are typing exactly the same upper and lower case combination as you have created the VM temp. So the host name is uh, this is the IP address of my host name under dot two hundred. We have some primary virtual machines and some secondary virtual machines. Primary will be installed in 100, 200, and the secondary will be installed on 100.201. All right. Then come into the customization. The disk space I'm going to allocate 200. The disk type is thin. Data store is host one, DS one. This is exactly uh, the same name which this is H1 DS1. Whatever the primary machines I am going to install on H1 DS1 on the same server, and the memory would be 8 GB fixed CPU cores. I am going to assign I have two physical sockets and I am not going to reserve anything neither memory nor cpu and hot pluggable i have enabled so i can increase the cpu and the memory later on based on the requirement in runtime and the root is efi and for network i'm going to use this code group which i have created here this is the port group server port groups and the vlan is 23 i'm going to assign this port group to these vms and this is the ip subnet mask gateway and then dns server the dns server ip is the active directory ip and this is my active directory and its IP is 106. So I have configured this one. And this is exactly the script which I will execute to create one VM. As I told you, I am going to create around 21 virtual machines. So I am just doing the copy paste for rest of the VM, but I am just changing the VM name and these are the things which you need to take care of when you are going to do the bulk deployment you have to spend a couple of minutes or hours based on your environment how many VMs you are going to deploy and you have to take care about the host machine where you wanted to deploy if if you are using the Sphere Enterprise Plus then you, you can use the cluster name instead of the host name and and the data store based on the required so i did exactly the same thing but just i have changed the name of the vms based on the requirement by this is fth and like that's and this is my secondary server 201 where i am going to install some additional vms so without wasting time let's jump into the terminal and execute this script and we'll see the result this is my terminal uh, actually i am in this directory in the ansible you can right click on it and open terminal it will be the same thing already open so Let's execute. Yeah, I think my thing is working there. Project smart playbook. And the playbook name is on cloud.jr. But we need to do the activity. It's a stage short file. We need to do the study. But there is no analysis. Machine. 
As you can see here, the first thing I'm yeah. going to install is dash yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. DA server one P P the primary. This is a customer's naming convention which I have to follow. Yeah. And as you can see, the oh. the VM is started. It's basically cloning this my VM temp as you can see here and creating a new virtual machine. So once this VM is deployed. The IP and name should be as per our YAML file. The name of this virtual machine should be DA, DA server 1P and the I and storage size should be 200 GB, memory should be 8 GB and CPU X4. And then it's IP address should be 101. 172 to 1601. This DNS should be So let's wait for a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, you can have coffee or tea, whatever you like. I am going to this to pause this video and resume it back once the deployment is successful. I just wanted to add up some information here. I was also having this issue and I wanted to share it with you guys as well. You can see I am executing this code, but the thing is how we can write this code and what is the platform which I am using to write this code. And how we can prepare our environment through which we can perform these tasks. For that, I will create a separate video how you can prepare your Ubuntu server for the execution of bulk deployment. Just to give you a brief overview, I am using Visual Studio Code. And it is written in YAML code. As you can see here, it is YAML, it is written in YAML. So I will prepare a separate video for that, but right now I'm just focusing on the bulk deployment. So once it is done, I will prepare that one as well. So I'm just going to pause this video again. So once it is completed, I will zoom it back. So as you can see here, now the deployment of First virtual machine has been completed as you can see here as well. Now it is going to execute the sec the second task that is for the deployment of DSL So let it execute. So as you can see the deployment has been completed, but still it is showing the template IP which is configured in the VM template, but after a couple of minutes it will it will change so let's log into this virtual machine and, and verify whatever we have configured exactly the same or if there is uh, Mm -hmm. 
let's refresh it with P. You can see the difference. Well, it is not P.2, but its actual IP should be 23.168. Name should be the server. Okay, let's verify the name first. Still get some time. Main. And it's still showing the one. Okay. Let's restart this machine. Second is machine is going on, and third one is started. So, as you can see here, the new VM. DS server 2B got the IP and the name as well. And the allocated server is 6 CPU and 8 GB memory and 200 prime. We have allocated here. This is for one. And this is for MIP, 8 GB memory, 6 CPU. Is so let's keep continue. So once you execute the script, it will create as many VM as you want. So this is it for now. In next video, I will show you how you can set up this environment. Thanks for watching.